we're going to show you how to craft a tequila sunrise. Now this drink is ideal for beach setting. You're having a campfire, you're hanging out with friends, make a tequila sunrise. Very, very popular in Miami, San Diego, Santiago, Mexico, Drake Bay, Costa Rica, and Missouri. Missouri. It's a pretty easy one, so let's start it off. Step number one, which is actually the most important step, and that is add tequila to your glass. My particular favorite we don't have today, but we've got a lot of leftover of this stuff. Due to budget shortfalls, we are working with an inferior tequila, but we're not going to let that dampen our party. I just need a little pony shot because I'm a little guy. Two pony shots coming up. And that was step number one. Step number two. Add grenadine. No, that's step three. Oh. Step number two is add OJ. You want to add some orange juice to your tequila. I prefer home style with the pulp. Be sure to shake vigorously before pouring. Step number three is add grenadine. You add grenadine last because it's heavier, it'll settle to the bottom to make your sunrise. I'm gonna pour it Do you just add to taste or do you uh I'm gonna add to taste and to color. Grenadine, orange juice. And tequila, all products of Mexico, proudly proudly grown in Mexico and distributed to the United States of America. Now, thank you, thank you, colleague. You can't see exactly, but the grenadine falls to the bottom of the glass. I poured mine in a little too heavy and it didn't mix well, but you can kind of see the tones there to get the sunrise. Yeah, yours looks great. Yeah, it worked. It really worked. Step number four. Step number five. Which brings us to step number six. After that, you've got step number seven. Okay, we've arrived at step number eight and now on to step number nine step number ten or as we say in mexico diaz step eleven and finally step number twelve enjoy your glass of tequila sunrise cheers Amazing. Totally amazing. That's delicious. Starts off with these notes of citrus from the orange juice, the agave from the tequila, and then finally the sweet and bitter taste of grenadine. Somewhat chemical taste as well. Does taste a little chemically. Might be the grenadine you bought. This kind of looks... It's good though. It coats your, uh, coats your throat. Yeah, I don't... I don't no, this is actually grenadine. It's close enough. And that's how you make a tequila sunrise. Join us next week as we make the zombie juggalo.